Hello, fellow fundamentalists. Today I'm going to give you 13 reasons why gay marriage is evil and should be outlawed. These arguments will be great against stupid, biased, socially liberal, atheist, fag-enabling douchebags. 1. The purpose of marriage is to make babies. Therefore, gay people, old people, and infertile people should not be allowed to marry. Also, since the purpose of marriage is the creation of children, we don't allow non-married couples to have children. 2. Just as straight parents raise straight children, gay parents will raise gay children. And homosexuality, as we all know, is gay. gay. 3. The Bible says no. 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 No! And look at the First Amendment. Let's ignore the part where it says that Congress will make no law respecting any single establishment of religion and instead focus on the free exercise clause. Legalizing gay marriage would have such horrible effects on churches and religious folks. I mean, think about it. A gay couple wanting to get married would have to go to their local county clerk, bring identification, pay for the license, and boom, they're married. We can't let them push religious people around like this. Not anymore. Homosexuals have been antagonizing the religious for far too long. 4. Speaking of the Bible, it's filled with all kinds of excellent laws on the topic of marriage. If you pillage and sack other nations, you can bring the women and children back as permanent sex slaves. Of course, if you're too chicken shit to go murder scores of people for concubines, you can settle for the next best deal. Go rape a girl who isn't married, and then she'll be forced to marry you so that you can continue fucking her for the rest of her life. Of course, make sure beforehand that she isn't already married. Otherwise, both you and your rape victim will be executed. Anyone who wants to believe that these splendid Old Testament laws no longer apply would do well to reread these verses, where Jesus said that the Old Testament laws will stand against the end of time. Speaking of Jesus, he also talked about marriage. He said that marriage following a divorce is the equivalent of adultery. And adultery, as he made clear, is punishable by eternal hellfire. 5. Children need a male and a female role model. That's why society expressly prohibits single parents from raising children. 6. Children will be forced to learn tolerance for homosexuals in school. That's right. They want to turn our kids into decent, tolerant human beings. Those fuckers. 7. Giving gay people equal rights will encourage people to be gay, just like giving black people equal rights encouraged white people to turn black. 8. Society could never adapt to such a radical change as gay marriage, just as it hasn't adapted to computer technology, the service sector economy, high-speed travel, and a myriad of other similar abominations. 9. The godly sanctity of traditional marriage will be destroyed if it has to compete with gay marriage. I mean, think about how meaningless Kim Kardashian's marriage would have been compared to that of a loving gay couple. Besides, there's a proven correlation between the possession of traditional values and the sanctity of marriage. 10. Legalizing gay marriage will lead to all kinds of crazy behaviors. People might even wish to marry their pets because a dog has legal standing and can sign a marriage contract. 11. Homosexuality is not natural, and real Americans always reject unnatural things like polyester, eyeglasses, air conditioning, paved roads, sprinklers, dams, hats, sunscreen, c-sections, vaccinations, microwaves, guns, mouse traps, and so on. This brings me to my next point. 12. Homosexuality is a choice. The proof for this is that there is no gay gene that would be passed on by natural selection because it couldn't possibly be favored. Now some people think that it's primarily development and epigenetics that contribute to sexual orientation, but there has never been a single shred of evidence for this. Not one. Not a single peer-reviewed scientific paper has ever, ever 
been published to indicate that homosexuality isn't a choice. And even if there was, it would probably just be due to a global scientific conspiracy that wants godless gayness to be accepted. Gay teenagers are also part of this conspiracy. They attempt suicide four times as much as straight teenagers, and at least one in three gay people attempt suicide at least once in their life. They obviously did this to make it seem like they wanted to be straight, but because they apparently had no choice on the matter of their orientation, they opted to instead commit suicide. They want it to look like it's easier to commit suicide than it is to just become straight. Those silly kids. Finally, the strongest reason for which gay marriage is wrong is... Homosexuals are Nazis. The proof? The Nazi movement was formed in a gay bar. In a gay bar. We should probably ignore how Nazis treated homosexuals when they rose to power, though. For instance, we should ignore the fact that in 1933, the Nazi youth attacked the Institute of Sex Research and publicly burned 20,000 of its books while Goebbels gave a speech to 40,000 people. We should conveniently forget that the leader of that institute, Kurt Hiller, was sent to a concentration camp. We should also disregard the fact that homosexuals were one of the groups singled out for extermination in the Holocaust, with over 50,000 of them having been arrested. Also ignore the reality that most of them were subjected to medical experimentation, and that most of them likely died. Finally, pretend that you don't know that Hitler ordered the assassination of a top Nazi official, Ernst Röhm, under the pretext that he was gay. All that matters was that Nazism formed in a gay bar, and that this is proof that homosexuality and Nazism naturally go hand in hand. Anyone who disagrees is a Nazi sympathizer. Not only that, but they must be a socialist, Stalinist, communist, fascist, Marxist, SS, Gestapo, Nazi, Hitler, Nazi. So there you have it. 13 airtight reasons why gay marriage is evil. You've already lost, liberals. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! 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 Ho 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 ho!